You did some bad things. I did some bad things. Tell me. We thought we were helping, but it didn't work out that way. They always worried too much, Jim. The past is the past, my friend. You keep a diary of the horror we created. It never happened. That's the way you want to play it? With me? You did your part, I did mine. We all found a way to justify it. <laughs> keep your eyes open, my friend. It's the ones who aren't after you that do you in the end. What's going on, Jim? The company's clearing house. You have to expose them. It's the one shot you got. I recorded everything. I'm gonna throw it out where the world can see it. Really? Really? Congratulations on the film. It's Thank you. a lot of fun. You got a great cast here, obviously. Oh, yeah. Not just Sean Penn and, uh, you know, Ray Winston and, and also uh, Javier Bardem. Yeah. He never sucks in anything he does. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I, I liked how. You know, I mean, a lot of people will look at this movie and say it's it's kind of like taken with Sean Penn, but that's not really fair because it's really, in some ways, it's a lot more character driven. It's one of the more character driven pieces you've directed. Would you say that? It is. I, I agree. Uh, I, I would. I actually would never compare it to to, to Taken. I mm -hmm. mean, the the structure of the movie itself is different. The character is different, and the 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 the, the journey of the character is different. Uh, Taken was very straightforward. I mean, I'm going to save my kids, and we get in the way, face the consequences. Um, Sean's 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 character in, in this movie is much more complex, much more uh, intricate, uh, multi-layered. And is yeah, he's, he's not a good guy in the beginning. You don't really know. He's, he's a gray guy, and his his journey is to become a better man by facing the consequences of what he's done years before. And that's a very different journey and a very different. Uh, structure, uh, dramatic structure, and also it's more of an ensemble. Yes, there's su such crazy, uh, we never use the word supporting cast, it's just like other big players in the movie. Uh, yeah. Javier, yeah. and Mark Rylance, and Ray Winstone, and, and Idris, it is a small movie, a small part is a fantastic you know, piece in there. So yes, it's more of an ensemble, so it's two totally different movies. Yeah, I mean, this is it's definitely makes more sense to say it's an ensemble cast than a supporting cast. I think so. Because, I mean, even in the smallest roles, you know, Idris Elba never fails to impress. Never, know? ever. Such a charismatic man. And the thing that was interesting, as I brought up in the, the press conference, is how Sean talked about how his character has to depersonalize to do his job. But yeah. as the movie goes on, the fascinating thing is he's in a position where he can't really depersonalize. He can't anymore. Which, which creates a wonderful tension. Is that something you and him worked on a lot? Uh, yeah, well, it, it's... Not specifically on that, but the fact that uh, he, in the first place, does you know basically kills people that he doesn't know. Uh, it's just a you know, contract. It's just does what he's asked to do. As the movie evolves, he has to fight people that are closer to closer to him, like friends, basically, and uh, and it does change his perspective. But he's already a character that's changed already when the the, the work is done already uh, during that like. Eight years uh, gap in the in the movie is is done his own like you know introspective work to not to do that anymore. So uh, it it is uh, yeah it's interesting to see how he has to fight again. He kills a few guys that are just you no know, operators that he doesn't know. It's fine, and then he gets deeper into guys he actually knows. Also has to you know face the, the responsibility of his good friends being killed. So it's it's yeah it's a very emotional. Uh, complex journey. And you're known for movies like this and Taken, also District B-13, which I loved. <laughs> I got a huge kick out of that film, but was there anything specific that you wanted to do with this film that you haven't done in other films? Basically what we discussed about, it's more of an ensemble, and it's also, which the other two also were. Like I, I like setting my movies in, in worlds that are real, and that you can also have a, a sense of, of actual issues in the world. Uh, well, there's no wall around Paris or around the, 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 the District 13. There's no such thing, but there is kind of a go to ghettoization of of of, uh, of certain populations in France. And Taken was obviously about human, human trafficking and trade, and this one is about yeah the the, the more global political uh, responsibility of uh, of the developed countries to the uh, developing countries. Jim, we have a surprise for you. She is a remarkable woman, Jen. Remarkable. I gotta go, Stan. Do you hear me? I got to go. Let the real talk begin! And 
Ever have one of those days when everything's going wrong and everybody wants to kill you for something? I can see the company's perspective. You're the last real threat on the table. And we've got nothing left to talk about. Me and the devil.